Okay. We're back. And uh, I'm hoping, I am very much hoping that I can get out of bed without falling through the floor. I waited a while before even pressing record. The world has really spawned in. The world's there. I can see outside the window. Ooh, ooh. Oh, wow. The rotation on this is insane when you're in the bed. So, here we go. Getting out of bed. Don't fall, don't fall, don't fall, don't fall. Oh, there we go. There we go. I fell straight through the building. Damn it. Because I just keep falling out of the bed. Here we go again. Okay. So, this will be a short video. <sighs> okay. We died. Usually when you die, that'll fix it. So, can we get out of bed now without falling through the floor, please? And we're going. There we go. We're, we're gone. We're, we're, we fell through. We're all the way through the building. Again, we cannot spawn in the PTU. And it keeps flashing that we're in Port Alasar when we're not in Port Alasar. So I don't know. I'm gonna I'm gonna try to give it a little bit more time. I'm gonna wait like five minutes, okay? Okay. It's been like ten minutes now. I've just been laying here. I went and got some water. Facilities and all that, so Let's try one more time. If not, I'm just have to go to the regular PU because the PTU is broken for me. Here we go. Come on, don't fall, don't fall. Come on, come on, you can do it. Hey, third time's a charm. I'm up. I'm walking around. It's a bit laggy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Let me slow my walking down so I don't glitch through anything. See, I, I, I don't give Star Citizen an instant pass. It's a cool game and all, but I just fell through the, the floor in the hallway. I just fell again. Look, I'm, I'm just going to load up the PU. All right. We're in the, the PU. And more than likely, we're at Port Alasar. Because, uh,. This month, uh, the subscribership, at least for the Sentinel or something like that, is the um, Mantis, and I'm not a big fan of the Mantis. This one, get, I like, I like doing this, and yeah, this should have my uh, my whole suit. Let's go ahead and get out of bed. I shouldn't drop through the floor in this one because the regular PU works phenomenal. So let's see, we got a Dragonfly, we got the Lancer, they're giving it to everybody. We got the Max. We got my 300i, my baby. I love that one. It's just a sports car. I love it. Well, we're going to buy a new ship today. That's what we're going to do. I, I like the 300 series from Origin. They're really good ships. I mean, but I should have enough. Let me check me, Moby. I should have enough to get a 325A. Yeah, I got 1.24 million. So it seems as though we're, we're going to get our Freelancer. And we're gonna take a trip over to Astro Armada, which is an Arc 18. Oh, that's gonna be a wonderful landing experience, my friends. It's it's partially it's, it's a couple of components for the, uh, the the freelancer backs are upgraded. Not everything, just a bit. Not everything. So I, I still have much more to upgrade on it. I believe um, maybe weapons, cannons, turret, definitely. Uh, and and any of you that know about the Max know it still has that problem where it well the 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 the, the, the rear section seems to be very heavy when you take off. We press R to get the flight ready here. I like to do take a look around. Mm, this is our buddy the Max. Now I wonder if there's going to be skins for the Freelancer Max or not. We'll bump our power up and let's and lean to the back. There we go. It does it every time. 
Oh, God. I, I, I keep forgetting my mouse sensitivity has to be set a certain way because of the controls for this game is really good. Well, we're, we're pretty much clear. It's going to go full speed out of here. Oh, you're quite welcome. I'll pull up our map. Let's see where we're going. Hold down the middle mouse button just to scroll the whole map. There we go. Well, we're going to Arc 18. That will be on Arc Core. Double click on it to get up in there. And we'll, we'll hit that. We'll, we'll do the rest when we get there. Uh, let's see. And as you can see, it's 460 quantum fuel we'll use there. And we have 2400 of quantum fuel. So we have more than enough to get there. Now, the, the 300i used to have enough to actually take that flight and make it there. It now no longer can has enough quantum fuel to make that flight. Now we have an arrow at the top of the screen. Let's get rid of the chat here. And what do you know? We just aim up. We're still going above, well above SM speed there. We'll cut cruise control, bring down our speed. I don't like to travel in quantum speed with my SM speed above normal. Engage quantum by hitting B. Controls are going to change from the update and patch note I've read and, and, and videos I've seen. And we hold B to engage our quantum drive. I really enjoy doing it this way. Oh, well, let's press N and bring up our landing gear. Nice and flush. Nice. And let's go to quantum. And now we're free to rotate the camera as it engages. I like looking at a planet as we go. We're gone. Leaving by all the planets of that system. Crusader is actually a really big gas giant. Really, really, really big. And, and when they updated and put the landing point, uh, what, what is this? Orisa? Orisa? Landing path? That's going to be nice. Alright, we're coming in. It's been like maybe a six, seven minute flight. You're just going through space, which is cool. I, I love it. How far are we away? Oh, whoa. It's always nice when the planet is right in your face. All we do is look for the Star Wars Aventador. Is that what it's called? You just look for that shape on the ground that looks like a Star Wars ship, and that's how you know where to go. Oh, well. Oh, man. The insane detail on this graphics pulls me away so much. And I'm running it on low end. I'm not even running it on, on high end. It's, I'm running it on low. Oh, it looks like it's right across from us, way over there on the other side of the city. That I'm actually relieved that I'm coming in on a day with the sun up. I'm not concerned that it's an overcast day or that it's not sunny. Uh, it's not a problem. And then we'll elevate forward since we're already pointing down just to get us right over it. 
because it, it, it's a little laggy. I'm not sure how it's showing up, but um, being so close to the planet and where we are now, our speed means a lot. We could actually go very fast. Okay, and we're, we're gonna fit right in there, five by five. All right, let's slow down. Ooh, on the nose. Mm, drop our landing gear. We gotta get a better look. We're right, right in the door. Are we? Yeah. Oh, this gang will crash on you quickly. All right, that's good. That's, let's go. He missed the T-Poles party. Okay, I had already stopped walking. I don't think I was walking that fast. All right, and this is actually a very good update. Having the ability to not just claim your ship, you can just store it. There, boom, now it's in there. Let's go add to our list. I, I, I grinded hard for this one million. Yeah, the PU still has problems, of course. And we 30K'd out of there. So hopefully when we spawn back in, we'll be in uh, Area 18. All right, we're, we're back at Area 18, apparently. And we shouldn't drop out of the bed here. And the PU is pretty, pretty stable on that front. There we go. Uh, let's see. Okay, it seems like I uh, reached a dead end someplace. And just walking in here, it's crazy how uh, cyberpunk this looks, this whole area. This is crazy. And, oh, just a little FYI, I am going to be streaming and playing and doing videos on cyberpunk. Probably the day it come out. I got it reserved on PC and on the console, so and there she is. And there she is right there. Astro Armada. Uh, I 30k more on, on, on planets than I do anyplace else. So as you can see, it is very laggy. A lot of the textures for this hasn't actually even loaded in. Astro Armada is supposed to have a little glow around the words and all that and everything. It's uh Yeah. Let's get in here, buy this 325A and get out of here. Whoa. It's, it's almost painful. I apologize for how jittery it is. Oh. Astro Armada, here we go. That would be a cool ship to own. It really would. It just would look nice. I may have come down the wrong area. Oh, okay, we can walk over here. Whew. I mean, the I mean, I guess by everything being of high quality texture maps and everything, it's it's insane trying to load into a building with all the reflections on everything. All right, so we're looking for origin right there at the bottom. And that one there, that one right there. We got to get it to load up our pictures and everything. Oh, I see. It's go. Yeah, it is. It is that. So that is the Anvil Hawk right there. 1.2 just out of our budget by 35 that's crazy and it's a combat light fighter but we're going over here to origin and there it is the 325a and it's the combat variant of the 300 series well we're wasting time we're not going to get a good look at it 
or a better look when we purse it and it's flyable. My, anyone following my videos would know that I'm uh, I'm currently working on getting a 600i from Origin. Now we're just waiting on our tram. 35 seconds and we'll be out of here soon. Oh, look at that. Take a while to load the textures in. This is nice. Uh, all right, let's uh, where are we at? There it is, 325A. And where's the mantis? Let me go to second. There we go. <sighs> I like the smell and look and flight of a new ship. Hangar 3. Wow, Hangar 3. Yeah, Hangar 3. That was pretty close. Oh, wow. Wow, that's my baby. And it's just like the other one, so... Hmm, and I do believe this is a size 4 on the front here, or a size 5. Nice. Which we will be probably changing that up. And I need to get a fighter. Now we gotta start crouching as we get in. I'm guessing this is the same one. I don't want to glitch out on the way. Oh, nice new ladder. Keep crouching on the end. And the bathroom, if it's like any of the other 300 series, is a death trap, so don't ever sit in the bathroom. Too bad I didn't buy it on the on the store. I, I'd be able to customize all this interior. My other one has red on the inside, but I was able. To, I should have put wood. I had the chance to put wood in there. I didn't. So bring up the flight. Nice. Yeah, pull up the communication. Have to open the doors. It's funny because this thing could do a rolling land. I'm trying to look up to see, but I guess I can't. All right, don't be squirrely. Let me see if I can get that. Because if, if you're not aiming straight when you go up, it'll get squirrely on you like that. But a lot of ships have that problem for some reason. I don't know what it is. They're bottom heavy. All right, we should be good. Let's uh, we'll retract our landing gear. Oh, Let's, oh, we seem to be clear. I guess we'll, we'll yeah, we'll power it all the way up. Let's go. Get good height, and then we'll hit C, hit our cruise control, and we'll pitch up and get out of here. First flight of the 325A. It's uh, pretty nice. We should be at a good enough distance and bring it straight out there. Maybe we turn around here and take a look at that. At full speed, how long does it take to get out of the atmosphere? It's pretty, it looks pretty nice. I like the gray and red. It looks combat ready already. So yeah, you see, that's the symbol you have to look for when you're going to land. That big red and white thing, and you know, you because other than that, it's just city everywhere. It's damn near Coruscant over here. And we're out. Let's uh, now we're still in the atmosphere a little bit. Well, let's give ourselves a bit of a boost. And so, yeah, we're very, very thirsty. Why is it still shooting? I wasn't holding them down. All right, uh, we can, we're out of the atmosphere. It's not bad. That's a pretty big gun on the front. Protrudes a lot. Wow, I can't wait to upgrade that or change it. 
almost forgot. We're gonna we're gonna definitely uh, enjoy the quantum flight. Spooling up drive. All right, we'll kill our cruise control. Locked on. I'll hit right shift to lock our trajectory here. Engaging warp speed. I like to do look back and see the planet recede away. And the game get a bit smoother as it leaves all that all, all those polygons behind. And now we're smooth as we leave the system. Yeah, and there's the planet still trailing away. It's it's pretty nice. And there's a bed to log off in here, even though it's a fighter. So that's that's another plus for this. And views of people like subliminal and, and, and morphologists, it, it, it seems to be pretty all right. So, you know, thanks subliminal. Cause uh yeah, he's been he's been right on a lot of ships that I've test float flown and bought. So uh, yeah, I trusted his, uh, his judgments on this. It's not all right. It's, it's it's a good entry level for fighter ships. I, I could have got the um, the glaive. I think it was or was it the glaive or there's some other fighter I could have got that everyone gets. Everyone has. I I don't know. It's all right. I don't do much flight combat, so it's 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 uh for me it's workable. I'll see if I can get a skin on it. Seems pretty normal, but for now, it looks nice. I like it. I think it was still at 900k. Yeah. All right, we made it to Everest Harbor. We're gonna land here so we can respawn here, and more than likely we'll let ourselves die because we have a what a six-minute estimated survival. And uh, on top of all that, the screen has turned 3D for some reason. I don't know if it's translating, but it's 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 red and blue side by side, turning it 3D. I checked into the op options. I don't know why it did that. It's it just did it on its own. So now it's in 3D. Where is that? I got four minutes. Where is that landing zone? Ooh, forgot how quick this thing can rotate. Can y'all pitch and y'all roll? Come on. And it could very well be on the screen. It's just that. Oh, there it is. Landing is complete. Now this will be our spawn location. I'm just gonna go in the sh in, in the house. I mean, go inside the station, claim my ship, and that'll be it. With it turning 3D on me, that's this. It's it's things are blurry now. It's this is weird. And it, it's still gonna pull me back and have me go through that animation. No, no, nice. Because that's how it should happen. If you open it and jump out before it actually goes through the animation, it shouldn't just pull you back and snatch you back into the animation. So yeah, that's good. Hmm. It's my, my new my new one. And see, for me personally, I think if, if if you did not glitch any of your ships and you grinded hard to get them, whether it's alpha or beta or not, you should keep them. I grinded hard to get that. I did a lot of shipment. It took me like a month and a half to save up the money to get that thing. That that would be unfair for them to do a wipe. I can understand wiping and taking the money and maybe upgrades I bought for my, you know. But I bought an actual ship. That's bogus to take the ship that I bought, you know. That's that doesn't just represent some, you know, in-game money. That's time spent earning that money. And this is a game where you spend a lot of time earning money. It's not quick money. Whoa! Did it switch back to being regular? No, it's still at least 3D in the HUD. Oh, I know why it's doing that, because I'm dying. Yeah, I got five seconds. Okay. Because it went 3D. I was wondering, why is it doing that? Uh, and it's getting, yeah, I died. Boom. Another guy's looking at me like, this guy just fell over dead. Yeah. 
but yeah that's that's the, that's the whole video we're here now and 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 we we actually have our uh you know we, we have our vision back so we will be getting out of here and let's look back in yeah see nothing's in blurry anymore so yeah that'll be it and um yeah we'll get out of here and we'll test again next time i'm in star citizen it'll probably be in the next week or something like that i'm doing a lot of scrap stuff right now so thanks for watching all that and um and, uh, enjoy more of the videos you know they'll be getting better and all that it's, takes time later